When you work with echelon method to solve a system of equation, it's often easier to just ignore the variables and focus on the coefficients. So let's take a look at this system. 2x plus y plus z equals 3, 3x minus 4y plus 2z equals negative 7, and x plus y plus z equals 2. If I just go ahead and drop off all the variables and put it into a matrix, what you'll see is simply the coefficients from the left-hand side and the constants from the right-hand side. So before I had three equations, so now I have three rows. And before I had three variables, and then the other side of the equal sign, so that gives me a total of four things, and that corresponds to the four columns that I see here. So this rectangular array of numbers is called a matrix. Each number in the matrix is called the element or entry. The vertical line that you see here helps to distinguish between the coefficients of the variables and the constants. And essentially, it's, it's just an equal sign. So that very first row that says 2, 1, 1, 3 means that 2x plus y plus z equals 3. A matrix that's formed from the coefficients and the constants in a linear system is called an augmented matrix. So in section 2.1, we looked at transformations of systems of equations that yield equivalent systems. We had three steps. The first one, that we could exchange any two equations. Uh, the second one, that we could multiply both sides of an equation by a non-zero number. And the third one was that we could replace any equation by a non-zero multiple of that equation plus a non-zero multiple of any other. Now we're going to adapt these to work with matrices. So that first one where we said exchanging any two equations just means that we can interchange any two rows of the matrix. The second one, multiplying both sides of an equation by a non-zero number, means that we can multiply the elements of a row by any non-zero real number. Our third step is that we were able to replace any equation by a non-zero multiple of that equation plus a non-zero multiple of any other equation. Now that becomes that we can add a non-zero multiple of the elements of one row to the corresponding elements of a non-zero multiple of some other row. So if we perform these row operations as indicated above, we're going to get a system with the exact same solutions as the original. 